Hello, fellow gamers. I'm Glory Hound, and this is the very spooky Dr. Glory Hog today. And we're playing The Night Cage by Smirk and Dagger Games. This is a super exciting. This was a Kickstarter that we backed, and we had played on Tabletop Simulator, I think. And I'm so excited to have this in person. You all don't even know. And hello to our chat today. It looks like we have Judy from Nerd Shells, Fatal Paper Cut, Battle Cry, Jolly Lumpy. How are all of you doing? Hello, hello. So, today we're not doing our Kickstarter show. It will be back next week. And as we... long as the Kickstarters are hot. If they well, suck... Well, that's true. <laughs> we'll do something else exciting, okay? And then the other thing is, is if you're new to this channel, why don't you go ahead and give us a thumbs up, like, subscribe, ring the bell to get notified whenever we go live so we can talk to all of you in person because we love your lovely, lovely faces out there, okay? Well, I do. I don't know about you, Doctor. I do not love them all. I <laughs> like you, you the like vast some of majority them. of them. I love a few. <laughs> I won't say their names publicly now. And just in case you don't know, this is a should you play. So if you want a tutorial of how to play, there's actually a link on the actual rule book itself for the Dyes app, and you get like a free thing that you can go check it out. This is a should you play, so this is us welcoming you to our table, showing you a game that we enjoy, and then you can decide if it's something that you want to add to your collection. Jelly Lumpy says, hi you all, here just for the thumbs up, we're having a family evening in the garden, Ooh. have loads of fun. Thank you so much, Jelly Lumpy. We hope you have a lovely time in your garden. It's actually raining here, so you're having yeah. a much better time outside than us, okay? In Arizona, though, when it rains, it's a party. It takes an extra 20 minutes to go anywhere, but it is a party. And People lose their minds. Oh, for real, it gets insane. So, and Judy says, my first holiday can't be better. Finally catch your live stream. Welcome to the live stream. We're so excited to have you here. We love having new people come in. Awesome. So, with the game here, I just want to let you all know that if you're getting the base game at home, I don't believe they come with these lovely, lovely little candles and so, some acrylic tiles and stuff. Right. So, we got the second level on the Kickstarter, which came with the LED lights, the acrylic nerve tokens, and the acrylic which you could see later, the acrylic candle. Otherwise, it would come with cardboard versions put, of those. What and about the, the keys, metal too, keys. right? Metal keys. And it came with these wooden meatballs. I think if you get the base game, some of those options will not be included. All of the candles are different, too. And then here we have our actual tiles that we're going to be pulling from. And this notates like how, how close we are to getting lights out on our candle here. This right. is like You'll go to the final best. Flickers. It's the freaking best. <laughs> Yeah, real quickly, if you're not familiar with the night cage, essentially what's happened is you've woken up, you have no memories, it's cold, it's dark, you can't stand up, all you can do is crawl, and you have one tiny candle in your fist. And so you're going to be crawling through these tunnels, trying to find the other people that you can hear yelling through the walls, trying to find a key, and getting all four of you to that gate before time runs out, before your candle goes out and the monsters overtake you. So right now I'm just flipping out tiles, and I'm kind of trying to figure out where I want to go. With things. I do both of my characters first in a two player game. You're going to do yours. For the most part, you stay with about four characters. You just split them up between different people here. And these wrap around. So, right here, if I put a tile here, it's going to actually go over here, which is like so, so much fun. It's mind bending as you go through the game. Yeah, because everything wraps here. around and it's a cube. It's not, the night cage is a cube. It's not. Flat. Ever There's changing. levels, it wraps around, Labyrinth. it's good times. All right, Doctor, go ahead. So what I'm going to do is I actually am going to steal a little bit of yours, because I like to flip things out, but I don't want to get too crazy. Right, we don't want to like flip out so many things. Because you burn through all your tiles eventually is what happens. And so I'm going to do that again here. Okay, so you're going the consolidated route. Yes. I will consolidate a little bit here. And Oh, yeah, like I have to go straight out this way. Ooh. So, so many crumbling tiles for you, Doctor. That'll be a thing. <laughs> All right, so you're going to start off with red. Is this, what's her name? Is it Scarlet? Johansson. Miss Johansson for you. If you're nasty. No. <laughs> I wasn't nasty, Scarlet. I'm a married man. So, if I... At least I... at the beginning of this podcast, <laughs> at the beginning of this recording, I'm a married man. If I go here... This can potentially connect to here, which isn't always a good thing if you start running into monsters and stuff. So I think I'm actually going to go here. When I go here, this has a crack in it, so this actually gets turned into a pit. And if you go and through a pit, whoosh, you go right down it and you pop up on the board next turn. This is no longer illuminated now because I can only illuminate one tile up, down, left, right of here. So this is discarded. After this is discarded you know here... You why? It's because it's one of those cheap, like... 
Target candles. It's not like oh, one of those come on. fancy Hobby Lobby candles. <laughs> those suckers light up two, three, four squares. Fatal says, I like how the candles, candles, <laughs> are different sizes. I do too, because it gives like everybody that little bit of individualness, you know, to their pawn without them having to be like vastly different. Like they're the same thing. It's really cool. I like it too. And you do have the option to always stay in a tile, but you have to discard something. And if you discard too many keys or too many gates, you just lose. Yeah, there's a lot of ways to lose. A lot. A lot of ways to lose in this game, everyone. <laughs> Speaking of Scarlett Johansson, I bought tickets for the movie for today. For today, so... Shh, our kid doesn't know. Are you trying to say I gotta go? Oh, if I go here, though, then that's gonna, like... Oh, no, that you're lit there, so I'm gonna go here. You need to calm down. I always feel like whenever I'm going someplace, I'm like, let's get lit. Please do not. <laughs> do not get lit while playing while playing this. All right. I think I'll put it here. Okay. And I'm going to use this one here to wrap. <gasps> that one's a monster. So we have a wax eater. He will move as soon as anybody in his line of sight moves, and he attacks all four directions at once. He's hunger, hunger hippo. Well, he doesn't move. He just attacks in all four directions. So this is actually a really good place to be. How dare you contradict me? Because he's separate from everything else at this point. So if I move, as long as I move out of his line of sight. So just don't connect to this guy. Don't look at this guy over here. He's scary. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and connect. That's like the first thing. Okay, and so I moved from here to here. And then I went ahead and turned that over. Yep. You have that one lit. Okay, so that's all good. So I'm going to go here which is going to flip this one into a pit, which I might need to jump into later. <laughs> I'm going to need one, two, uh, just two tiles. So can I get my first tile, please? Okay. What do we got? Just a straight You away. have to do it, like, really, really slowly. You have to take the tiles Everything off Everything you do here. is really, really just slowly. Like... I've seen a tortoise eat lettuce faster than you. It could take you three days to eat <laughs> one salad. And here's a key already, because I'm lucky like Yay. that. Yay! Okay, there's a key over there. You need that. So, we can only hold one key per person. Oh, look at that sad person there! Yeah, they're always I there. I didn't realize they were there. Back. Oh, no. So, I can no longer see this location. So that one goes away. But oh, you have to get your key, and you have to get to the gate. I have no choice but to go forward, so I need one tile. And I have to just hope it's not bad. And it's Ooh. not, because I'm lucky. Ooh, Ooh that way. <laughs> That's, I don't want to face it that way. You don't want to go into it. Oh, gosh. Okay. All right. All right. It is your turn, Miss Scarlet. Professor <laughs> Green is already gone. And Little Boy Blue. We're going to go... Three here. tiles. All right. I just think, make sure you right? put a good one well, here. Well, hold on. So if I go here, maybe it's better to go here. Ah, that could be really bad, though, because if yeah. I go here and then a wax eater comes here, then I'm just, like, wrecked at that point. So, yeah, I'm going to go here. It's always a careful balance because when you run out of tiles, you go to final flickers, and then you have to start taking tiles that are already on the board that can be seen off. And yeah. then if you run out of space just... to go, guess what? You die. And sticks. All right, so there's a big hole there. I, I want that pit to go away. If that pit could just go away, that would be excellent. They are the candy bowls. Real, real nice. Real nice. Candy bowls. Make sure you put something nice, like, nearish me, please. I guess it doesn't matter. I probably won't go that way. Nearish you? What do you want me to put near you? Uh, like one. this? Yeah, this I didn't really want that nice there because then, because look, I would have moved this way and he would have followed me, but this pit blocks me, so. I'm good. Look, at, I'm putting a friend right here. He's I had really to double close. check that rule, too. The pit does block you. The wax eater cannot yeah, jump the, the pit. Yeah, he cannot go across the pit. But he does, he does go down direct line of sight. Why does he like wax so much? He's a wax, he's a wax eater. No, he yeah, but like... So. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to end up triggering, triggering this monster. You want to trigger the monster in the safest way possible, which this is like the perfect way to do it. Your mom is, wears combat boots. That was pretty safe. You way yell to... it down the tunnel and then you move out of their direction, okay? This wax eater fires off in every direction like this. You smell like beeswax. Oh, you tell him like a sick candle joke. <laughs> no, to your beeswax! And he gets mad. Ooh. They only have one place to fire off that's connecting, so they would fire all the way through here and to here. Nothing happens. They didn't hit anybody. This wax eater goes Yet. away. This is going to go away, and I'm going to get some more tiles. I'm just Three traveling. I'm just going through these tiles. I hope that 
I'm making good choices. <laughs> I don't think you are, but that's okay. Okay. You're giving yourself away just to get out of there if you have to. Just in case. Okay. Oh, there we go. That's what I want to see. Them keys. I spent six nerf tokens and I go take it. No? Okay. <laughs> All right. So little boy blue is going to move over here. He's going to go on this tile here and get a key. This is a very important moment. Don't you cut Hold me Hold on. Out. Battle Cry says, this is none of your beesness. And ew, it's earwax fatal. It's so gross. <laughs> Those puns were more important than my... Sorry, you got a key. key. That was a good job. Do you job. want to get out of here? I'm very proud of you, You know, doctor. little boy could just lay down and no, die. And then the whole no. thing is over. All right, so that goes over away. This can still be seen. All that can still be seen. He can still see that. I'm going to need... Not a tile there. I'm going to need two total tiles. Yeah, I'm going to need two total tiles, please. Okay. So tile number one. I'll put that guy over there. Wasn't there a video game like this a couple years back on the Switch? I have no idea. Little wax eater I don't right remember there. seeing any. Look at that little wax eater. Do you think he's going to trigger the other one, or are they not considered next to each other? They're diags. They cannot trigger each other because they are diagonal. If they were lined up, though... It could be really bad, because if you get hit double... The bad thing about the Wax Eaters is if you get hit, you discard three tiles. And then you can only see one space, the space you're on. And then on. your light goes out. So and everything really around bad. you goes away, too. So you could lose a lot of valuable real estate all at once. Yeah. All right, I guess it's my green's turn, huh? So I'm going to go here, because I don't actually have a choice. This becomes a pit. So now you can see these four. This can no longer be seen. This can no longer be seen because I can see around and I can see two. I'm going to need two tiles. Those can also be seen. Those can also you be seen. You put the wax eater wherever you want. So you, when yes. you unveil a tile, you put it down and then you have to unveil another tile and then put it down. So you don't get to choose. You get to choose that first one and then after that it gets harder to choose you know if you have three to place down two you're going to get a good choice but that third one just goes there no matter what and that's kind of the crux of it is as you're placing these tiles you place where okay well if i do pull a wax eater i want it to probably be in this spot over here possibly and you have to really prioritize that and there's four gates and you got it once you flip a gate you got to keep one up for everyone to get to and there's six keys so if you discard more than if you discard more than two keys, you're done. That's it. Like, you're the just game's over. just over. If you discard too many keys or gates, then that's just the end of it. Then it's called You Lose. <laughs> it is your turn. <laughs> All right. For Miss Scarlet. Ooh, that one candle there blinked. I know. I was just looking at that, and I was creepy, and I got freaked out. <laughs> I think uh, the... Uh, I don't want any of these things. Ooh. Okay, so I think moving here will be fine. When I move here, this wax eater here fires off. They go in this direction here, which would only be down here. So they're going to go away. I guess I could set it over here. Throw it over there on top of there so we can keep track of those wax eaters. Wax eaters. Technically, we're supposed to put them in there. Yeah, because I just have other stuff over here. Okay. Fine. Then... I should have brought the Dwellings of Elderil, like monster noise whenever the wax eater go off. There we go. That's supposed to keep track of all your tiles. Then, since I'm over here, illumination wise, this is no longer illuminated. That one. This is no longer illuminated. Gosh, you hit it so hard. This is this is no longer hey, illuminated. Hey, geez. Is there a divot out of the board already? <laughs> Calm down there. Oh, there needs to be a wax eater theme song, especially when they're eating away. There is a soundtrack that does go with this game, so I we didn't get a chance to like look it up and see Ooh, you if got we could integrate it in. You got a special tile. Did I get one? You got a gate. Oh, oh wait, maybe that's not it's as. It's a good. little early since I'm the only one with the key. It's a bit early. The only thing special about the gate is that is the one spot where all four of us could potentially be at once. All the other spaces are one person only because you're crawling on your hands and knees. And I knew this eater. was going to happen. That's not... Well, oh, thank goodness there's like a pit there. Yeah. Plus, yeah, because if I move, it's not going to do anything anyway. It's yep. good. The soundtrack is really good. We did the soundtrack when we did Tabletop Simulator, and it was so good. I need to get it in here real bad. All right, so here, I'm obviously going to go here. We're going to get the key. This goes away. 
this goes away. Nope, that stays there because you can. Nope, that goes away because you can't see it. Why? Right? Yep. Yeah, you can't see it. Yeah, you can't you see can't. down a hall. So you can't see that. Those go away. Do, do, and this one goes away. Yes. Oh, I always hate whenever they go away. Like, makes me nervous, everyone. <laughs> makes me really nervous. All right, we're going to go over that, like that. We're going to... Make sure that you put, if you get a good one, put it to the left of you. Because if you get a wax heater and you have to put it here, that's going to affect both of us. So oh, geez. It has to go But there. I have this here. That's still okay. Okay. I still have options, at least. Okay. If, you, if we get a wax heater there, then it's going to trigger if either one of us moves hitting the other one. Okay. So. And you've been pulling some wax eaters, <laughs> I'm just going to say. I don't want to blame what? anybody. But you've definitely been pulling some wax eaters. All right. Let's do, like, that, I guess. Now is your purple? That was my purple. I get a key. Da -na 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 -na. I did the same thing with Luke. <laughs> I was like, doo -doo 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 -doo. <laughs> it does feel like he just unlocked something in Zelda, right? All right, so little boy blue, he's gonna go. I like this. Hold over on. Over here, it's gonna fire off this wax eater. The the table is super romantic today. This is the docks and this and the docks eyes. Oh my god, so dreamy for the stream. You're welcome. <laughs> Wait, hold on. You're welcome. You gotta blink in there and like get the blinks in. You have gorgeous. Well, that's just regular blinking. You have to do a flutter. No, that's a we. No, you're bad at this, doctor. You, you said blink faster. I listen. No, you follow like, maybe directions. Maybe a wink and then like a little flutter. But can I get three tiles, please? Three tiles? Are you looking at how many tiles we have left? We're um, like excuse me, I'm sorry. I was over here getting here. keys. Is that okay? We're or is that a problem? We're through here already, okay? I thought you wanted keys. I didn't know that was a thing you did not want. <laughs> he just did the blue steel pose from Zoolander. For real. <laughs> when I say three tiles, I actually mean three. Well, yeah, but you got to get them one at a time. I know, but you could like, you know, you could grab them still. No, I'd rather not. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely don't make it easier for yourself. Check. All right. So I can still see all of this. You can see this. He can see that. And you can see that. Yeah, we're still good. That was blue, right? So I guess it would be green. Green's like over on your side, which I do not like. I'm going to go here, which means we lose this. And I need one tile, please. One tile. And then one. we also... Oh, no. Wait. Yeah, no, I'm okay. The that goes away. Number. There you go. It's just a little, it's a little thing like that. I feel like we're gonna get a lot more wax eaters. Like, there's a lot of them. I don't know. There's like twelve of them in here. Or something. There's a lot of wax eaters in there's here. Everyone. Anywhere between one and seventy-two wax eaters <laughs> in every game. <laughs> you can quote me on that, cause you know what? Why not? Is it my turn? It is. All right, we're going to go ahead and go here. Which he fires off, it but fires it's got off. no path. It doesn't go anywhere because this is not connected to anything there. That one goes away. These ones are still good over here. Those ones are still good. Those ones are still good. Yep, we should be okay. Okay, so, I'm, but I'm still going to draw three tiles. Yeah, this is over here talking business. Still going to draw Put that direct, oh. three of them tiles. I would like that direct path so that I can maybe run down it too, since like I already this? have it. I was thinking about for blue, because blue could run down a direct path, and if you've got a direct path. Make sense? Because blue has a key, so I can hang out around the gate and just kind of do little circles around the gate if we need to. A little circle circle? So like that there? Yeah. All right. Yeah, put the safe ones. They're not going to get everybody. I was like, if I pull a wax eater on this last one, I'm going to be so mad. <laughs> That's okay. You, have to, you always have to plan for that wax eater to show up at the wrong time. Right? Is there supposed to be a tile north of red? Yes. Because I can see here, here, and here. Red can see here, 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 and here. And here, 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 and here. And here, 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 and there. Mm -hmm. So the only spot... Yeah, that's everything. That's, that's everything. Cool. All right, so that yeah. was your red? That was my red. So now it is yellow. Colonel Mustard. Oh, no, it's purple. What? Where's yellow? Oh. What? what? Oh, is it blue over there? Or purple? <laughs> purple. Professor Are you okay? Plum. You okay, doctor? 
Josh Yellow is one of the other player colors. Okay, I'm so... not crazy. I'm not crazy. Purple is the one that has I'm a key. I'm not crazy. Purple is the one that has a key. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here. Filet his last yo. <laughs> yo. We're going to do this. So hopefully, like, you can go ahead and start drawing some other tiles and getting keys and stuff. Because I don't want to really, like, spawn a key next to purple because they already have one. Because then it just means that. I'm going to have to, like, maneuver around and be all weird and stuff. And nobody wants that. Nobody wants me being weird and stuff, okay? <laughs> it's true. It's one of the worst things about you. I feel like we're going to get into some deep trouble really soon because... I'm going to go here. We had a very nice amount of wax eaters. Everything seems like it's been pretty chill. That's an old key. So we can no longer see this one. So that one goes away. I need one tile. One tile. Yep, because you can see those four, those ones, those ones. So much anticipation when you flip it over. Look at, here's our candle. We do not have a whole lot of car, like, <sighs> and I love the candle in the background here. You can see it. Freaking so awesome. Okay, so are there different monsters you can use? Yes, there are. They, this is the basic game. Yeah, there's also ones that, the keepers, which have keys on them, and you have to attack them from the back. Any of the other directions, you cannot get the key. There's pit fiends. There are whatever those guys are. There's two of them. They're bosses. And then there's also two omens bosses. I'm just going to show you all right here. There's like the pathless, the dirge. There's some keepers and stuff. So, and there's the dirge is that big eyeball looking thing that you end up putting here. There are several different ways to play, but I definitely recommend playing the base game before you get into it because the base game can be challenging as it's it is. It's already hard. So I kind of want to go here, but if I spawn a wax heater, that's it's in a bad be real position. Bad. So I'm going to go here, which gives us better options, I feel like. Okay. So can I get one tile? Wouldn't have mattered. <laughs> All right, so I can see there. Can anybody see this? I'm going to say no. You can still see those, those. I think we are good. Who can see this? Anybody? I think no, this one's that one goes to go. away. It goes away. They all go away in the end. That was my green. Oh gosh, I did both my moves already. It is your turn. How did this happen? Okay. And if anyone is interested in the game, we actually put a link in the description below, as long uh, uh, as well as our game trays link. No, this is not a good way. Sorry. And a link to our Adler, the table topper that we're using here. Yeah. Game topper. So here's the stitch with where I'm going here, okay? So if I go here, mm -hmm. if I get a bad guy, like, they're just going to, there's nowhere I can go, literally. And, like, I'll just die. Or you'll, not die. Oh, my light will go right. out and stuff. It's and it'll be bad. It's not the end of the world, though. It's only bad because we would lose that gate, technically, if you pulled a bad right. guy. Right. So I'm thinking maybe here stay. might be better. You could stay and get a nerf token. But if I go here, I really have to be careful about placing anything here because if I like were to move off, I don't want to also hit you. So I think I'm going to go here. Okay. So we lose this. And because we're still looking for keys. You are, yes. I need one for green. Green and red are still looking yeah. for keys. Scarlet. Ah, uh, I placed it in the wrong spot. Why did I do that? I have no idea. What am I doing? Because that hits me. Would that hit me if I move? Does it go all the way down that straight path? Why did I do that? I wasn't paying any attention. If I move blue, which I'll have to If you to move, move, I'm going to get hit, and we're going to lose the gate. Nice. Good job. <laughs> I if, just I move down, if I move down, we up. both get hit and we still lose the game. So that's yes. even better. I royally, royally messed this up, everyone. I All can't right, believe purple. I did that. Go ahead, purple. It's your go. Gosh, I can't believe I did that. You can move purple south and then purple will still okay. have eyes on the gate at least. That's a good idea. I'm only revealing one thing. Yeah. Okay, I'm just making sure I have everything illuminated right. Okay, and then just one here. Jeez. I feel like either way, one of us is going to have to have lights out. 
because of the way you did that. Yeah, I know. I can't believe I did that. And I specifically said that as I was going, it makes up for last night for real, right? I specifically said it before I put it down, and then I put that over there for, like, no reason at all. Right. all. So I'm going to stay where I am. Okay. And Because I already have the key, so my lights out is not as important. I'm going to stay where I am. I'm going to get nerf token. Can you give me one tile that we're going to discard? So we have no idea what this tile is. Thank goodness. <laughs> Just a little tea. All right. Now green is going to go. I kind of want to jump in that pit because I don't want to come here. You can jump in the pit if you want. I know, but if I come over here, that's a problem because that's going to do some business. Like if that's a wax eater, we're in trouble. So the biggest thing with jumping into the pit is that you're off the board. You're the off whole the board, round. and then when you come on, you don't know what you're going to land on. So if you land on something like right, a monster, right. you just land on a monster, and that's it. Let's risk it. I'll do that. Just risking it for the biscuits. That's one of our other key tiles from before. So it's just good to kind of keep track of how many we've seen. All right, I need one tile. And it's a key. Oh! Do, 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 do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was helpful. I always am. All right. Except for when I'm not. All right. So you stayed, you did that thing, so I'm gonna you're gonna take the hit for me. I appreciate that, Doctor. Like always. I'm gonna move here. The wax eater fires off in this direction, hits you, lights out. You can smell my wax. Alright. Lights out, Doctor. Flip this over. Now what I am gonna do is I am gonna spend one of these to block so I can only discard two instead of three. Tiles. Okay. But now I am panicked. I may not stay. I must always move. So we lose that tile, that tile. We lose this connection tile because nobody can see that anymore. Yep. It's just me on that one little tile by myself. Yep. And then we discard usually three tiles from here. Here are the two. Because you used your nerve token. Wax eater? Straight away. All right. That's so, not bad. That was good. Well, let's see what the next tile you flip out is going to be. If it's a key, then we're like, woo! It's still, you have to flip out three tiles still, Oh, right? yeah, that's right. And this wax eater's also <laughs> gone because he went. The wax eater's gone. He already hit me. He only hit me Sorry. so many times. Okay. What'd you get? All right, so we would have been safe even without that nerve token, but it's still best to not spend resources where you, where you can. Don't waste resources. Oh, gosh. What are you going to do? We got to really, like, build this. We got to build this the right way. Says the person that set us up for an attack. <laughs> the only person who got everybody hits. Like, man, we should build this the right way. Okay. I do that so that the closed captioning has to list that as music. Because <laughs> they will, and I feel bad for them for listing that as music, but that's going to be forever documented as music now. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and as the purple, I'm going to step on this, I think. Okay. So I can so just like chill out here. You're going to spawn one new thing. The up one one. Could be good or bad. Well, we, you did it, so we'll oh find gosh. out. gosh. Please be something good. Please be something good. All right, well, that'll work. That's actually not bad because it lets me like move over to you. That'll and then, work. And actually get relit again. All right. Okay. So that was your purple. So is it my go? Yeah. So blue has to move. I have no choice. But I have blue move forward blindly. But luckily, we placed that there. So I go here. You relight my candle. Please relight my candle. It's just, it's, you got to get it lit Thank you. like there. There Thank you go. You. <laughs> and so then I would automatically illuminate everything around me. But there's mm -hmm. nothing to illuminate. So if you were over here and you were just going off blindly into the night, you flip over a tile, you put it down, you just go onto that tile there. Does this one go away? No, now you're lit. Okay. All right, so I moved blue. I didn't illuminate anything new, but that's good. I don't really want to with blue anyways, because blue already has If you spawn coins. a key, like, way out there, I'm going to be so upset. <laughs> well, I just moved here to get my other key. So, I mean, we're my team is already keyed up. We are we already keyed, keyed up. <laughs> up. So I don't want to hear anything about not pulling my weight, like you always like to say. Well, Fatal says it's like YouTube putting applause during a video of a firefight. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that happened. Yeah, it gets confused sometimes, which is fair. I mean... All right, I'm going to need three new tiles, though. Uh, wait, no. 
I won't because that one wraps around. Okay, so two new tiles? Yes. Let's see. So this is a gate. We already have a gate here and a gate here. I feel confident that we are okay without this gate. And there's a wax eater. So I will be moving back up this way <laughs> or onto that gate. All right. So, wow, that's what? Three gates we've seen out of four? So we got to keep one of these we on here because there's only open. one left in there somewhere yeah. and it's too risky. And where's our freaking key? Well, I've got like, my three keys. Where's our freaking key? Hey, it's what? really just you. It's Miss no. Scarlet doesn't <laughs> have a red. Key. Doesn't have Thanks. her key. <laughs> Everybody else is keyed up and ready to go. It is your turn, Miss Scarlet. It's, it's my turn. All right. So, are we confident in leaving this gate? I'll still see it. I can see two gates right now because it wraps around. Because I still need to like discover new yeah. stuff. I see two gates, so you're fine. Just whatever you do, if this is not a bad one, put it here so that we're not sending a wax eater up at all three of our other characters. <laughs> <clears throat> As some people are wanting to do. So we lucked out with that at least. I need to find a key fast. Oh, that's bad. It's not necessarily bad. Yeah, it is, because if you move, this wax eater is going to fire off and hit me. If <laughs> I move, the wax eater is going to fire off and hit me. Or you. Sucks to be you. This is not a good situation. You know what? This character right here has not had very good, uh, what is it? It would have been worse, though, if you would have put it here and it was a wax eater, because then it would have put us all three of us in danger, you know? That's true. So we kind of had to bite the bullet on that one. Can you pass keys for free if you are adjacent to another no. prisoner? Yes. No, you cannot. Yes, you can. You can't pick up a key if you have one. You can pass your key to another prisoner if you are adjacent to them. You cannot hold multiple keys. Okay. That's a very fine distinction. Yeah. Now. No, you then, cannot hold multiple keys. Because then my keys. character would be looking for a key, which right now, they both have keys and he has a key. Right. So the three of us kind of want to all get back to one of these gates and just kind of hover around it as much mm -hmm. as possible. And I'm going to stay here and I'm going to take a nerve token with my purple one. Okay, so flip out a tile and pray that it's not a key. Oh, crap. I got to flip out a tile. I don't want to do that. Well, you can move. I can still see that gate. Right now, I can see all of the gates. All right, I'm going to move over here. Okay, so we no longer see this one. We no longer see this one. And you're going to flip out two new tiles because you can see those and those and those. I can see that one and those. Those, yeah. The wax eater. Well, yeah, that's a good spot to put it still because it won't attack me directly. Come on, keys. I think Red has no choice, though, because I'm going to have to move. Yeah, I think Red's going to go lights out. So I'm going to go blue right here. We're going to lose this one. That one becomes a pit. Oh, hi, pit. Red pit. All right, and then I need... Two tiles total. Two tiles total, please. <gasps> a key. So I'm going to put this key yeah. here. You're going to go lights out. So depending on where you move. But as long as you have it illuminated, I'm fine. That's true. All right, so there's a key. All right, next tile. A straightaway path. I'm going to actually flip it this way to hopefully give you an extra access route because you're going to have issues, I have a feeling. I think we can still see everything. All right, so green's going to move. I'm excited. I think this is the best we've done. We move over here. That's going to fire off, like you said, all the way around and hit you. Lights no. out. This key thing becomes a pit. We lose this gate. Those are gone. Let's double check. So I can see this. Nobody can see this. So that one goes away. So we got ourselves a pit there. You can see this way, this way. I can see this way, this way. I'm going to go I lights out, though. I think we're good. Yeah, your lights out, so you lose that one and that one. No, you can see that one. Very true. Okay, well, that's actually good for you, because maybe you can it is good. wrap up that way. Okay, so my light is out like that. And now I have to discard three tiles. Yes, because a monster hits you. Which I'm going to discard one of my nerve tokens to only discard two. Good call. Let's see what you got. A wax eater. Not bad. Okay, okay. Not bad. Okay, okay. I feel like we got this one. I don't want to get like too excited because... So purple doesn't get hit by blue moving because this was a straightaway. 
So there's no line of sight here. This is a wall, basically. And so when I moved out of the way, then this flips because it crumbles. I'm already out of there. Think about Indiana Jones style. I walk through the passageway, and then the passageway falls behind me. So now it's connected, but it wasn't before. And also, wax eaters can't move through pits. They also fall into a pit. So, you know, pits are equal opportunity to killers. They kill babies, <laughs> archaeology students, professors, wax eaters, everything. Except for pit fiends. Pit fiends are totally fine. They're actually pro-pit. Are you ready? Brad Pitt's fine also. Is, is it my turn? I believe so. What okay. did I do? I think so. Yeah, I moved green. I think that's what set off that monster. So, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to move up here. So I can still see that one, and then you will get lit. Did you put that on yourself? <laughs> I just I just rubbed my flame against yours, and all of a sudden it lit. Mine, that's how that works. If right, you everyone? notice, if you notice now, my right, flame everyone? is weaker because I lit yours. <laughs> I'm that's, sure. That's why we are like we are. I'm weaker because of I'm you. I'm sure. Okay, so I moved up there. My flame is now lit. I can see all those areas. Please stop so that talking about your flame like that. My flame if you is lit. A, if you had a nerve token, you could move an extra space, but you do not. Uh, yeah, I don't. I do not. And for purple, I'm actually going to move here. So normally you cannot share a passage with somebody else. The passages are too small. But Just the gates. On I don't know gates, why I did this. On gates, you can occupy the same square at the same time. Because so. thematically, you have to, because there's four keyholes in this gate. All four of us have to end up on that tile, or this tile, or the last gate we haven't seen to win the game. We're going to have a meeting here, and we're going to discuss how bad Red is doing. <laughs> yes. Yes. Miss Scarlet, it's not doing good. Not good. It's not good. I can see why she's single, is what I'm saying, oh, no. based off of how she's playing. <laughs> I can see why she's single. So did oh, so purple moved? Purple moved. So yeah, so you can see we're running out of tiles, which could be bad because we're also running out of tiles there. So it goes to my blue, right? I don't want to put my blue there. I think I'll put my blue down this way because I still kind of want to move. So we'll flip one new tile out. And you can have a maximum of two nerve tokens. Yes. So that's fine. So for green, I can't go this way. I could, ooh, why do we not see up here? We should be seeing up there. Don't be a wax eater. Okay, no. that's not. <laughs> I was gonna say, we should technically be able to see up there. We forgot to light that one when I moved. So I actually do have an option now. I can either okay. move down or up. I will move up. So I still see here, here. I do need one more. Nobody sees this anymore. I still see that there. So I need one more, one more tile, please. I was gonna oh, stay. Oh, it's getting dangerously low, everyone. I was gonna stay and try to get a nerve token, but all right. So that's both my characters. Not many tiles it's now you. left here. It's now you. Do it. Get I think your we're key. gonna. I think we're gonna do this, though. I have faith in Come us. Come on, Scarlet. The only thing we have to avoid is the pitfall that I'm gonna end up creating here. So I go up here. Well, and the possibility of wax eaters. I mean, you got a pitfall there, but that's not the end of the world. I mean, I'm gonna get my go key. Around. I'm gonna be like. Dun, 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 dun. This is where it all comes together, everybody. Everybody. Dun, 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 dun. Ooh, I was like, here's your da, wax da, monster. Da, 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 da. All right, we're gonna do that. All right, so it is Perp's turn. Purple is going to chill out there and get a nerve token. But remember, you will discard a token. But the nice thing is during final flickers, you can discard a nerf token to make it so you don't have to lose a tile, too. So there is that. This also goes away because nobody can Actually, see that. Actually, I should not do this. Okay, so here's the thing, everyone. <clears throat> when you're discarding... One of our key ones. For... Final flickers. Well, no. When you're discarding a nerf token to stay... Or when you gain a nerve, when you stay and you gain a nerve token, you have to discard a tile. If that tile is a wax eater and you're staying, you have to replace one of the tiles next to you that's connected to you with that wax eater. What? Yeah. Since when? It's in the book. Why? But it's have only we, whenever we, you're have staying. Have we just never played it that way? Oh, we just I've haven't. never mentioned it because it's never happened before. Oh, okay. Well, I guess move then. I mean, you can move, which will speed up Final Flickers, but gives us two more targets for Final Flickers, I guess. It's another key. It's a key. Put that down there. And, and a wax, wax eater. eater. 
You would have discarded the key, though, not the wax I would have discarded eater. the key, but somebody else would have gotten this wax eater, and it would have been bad. So I just Maybe. protected everybody in this case. Maybe. All right. Now. So for blue, I'm going to move up. <laughs> She's adding those advanced rules. Yeah. Oh, Battle Cry is like, it's on page nine. Page nine. Look Ready? it up. So I'm going to go read a book. up here. Don't tell oh. me to read a book. <laughs> I read lots of books when I'm on the potty. That's where I like to read. The ambiance is great. I light a candle and everything. It's nice. All right. It's quiet in there. Listen up, you person who's playing. I'm moving here with blue, so okay. I'm, I'm prepped. I'm in there. Now, with green, so nothing happens Are because I was able it, to move. Are you getting it started in there? Let's get it started in there. <laughs> I'm going to move green here. You have to get on the same gate. You I can't know. be on a different gate. What would you like me to do? Oh, sorry. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay. I go thought ahead. so. <laughs> you go. You do. You're yours. over here telling me, oh, you <laughs> got to get on there. Like, I don't know this. I'm over in another tunnel. I'm like, why are you going in that direction? And I'm like, because your butt's in front of me and I can't walk through your butt. I'm not Kitty Pride. I'm not Nightcrawler. Although, technically, I am a crawler in the night. You Very are. Close. You're pretty close. I don't have the ability to actually go through people. I am not a ghost. Are you a ghost? <laughs> I could be. Have I, I been know. talking to a ghost all I don't time? know. I... All right. Can I get two tiles, please? <laughs> because I'm going to come down here, which we're going to lose this. Oh, my God. Two tiles? You're stressing me out. It's a lot of tiles. It's a key? I'm going to put that key there. There's Ooh, all the keys. Actually, I'm going to put the key here. Because that way, if it is a wax monster and I move here, it doesn't like trigger okay. that. And then this one is the other gate. You can't so put that's the, the key like upside down. It has to be right side up. Oh, geez. Oh, geez. And then here's another gate. And look, sideways <laughs> gate, too. All right, I'll fix it for you. Look, we found our last gate, though. So these are all the gates. This is probably all the keys, I would imagine, because there's what, three, four, five, six? So yeah, we've seen all the keys, which we all have one, so it's fine. We've seen all the gates, though, too, because we lost the gate, and then here's all four gates. So we do have to keep this gate alive. It is now your turn, Scarlet. Please don't mess this up. And we're going right into here, like so. This turns into a pit. Which, this is going to be bad. What if we just get a, all these pits around here? And like, we got to be careful about that. What would you like to do differently? <laughs> would you like to invent new rules, or would you like to paint the backsides of these tiles with non-pits? No, I'm just saying it would be dangerous. Oh. It would be a dangerous sitch, okay? You're like, you're like, alert, night is coming. Okay, what would you like to do about it? Nothing. I just wanted you to know the night is coming. And then I'm going to crawl up in here as well. Okay. <laughs> Sometimes with you, I swear. All right, so I am going to, on my turn, so blue, oh, so blue's got to stay. I mean, I want to stay. Blue's going to stay, get another nerve token, and discard a tile. Which this could be really bad if it's a wax eater. Alert! I'm alert! Night know. is it could coming! Be really bad. Night is coming! Alert! It could be really bad. What would you have I'm me getting do? Getting nervous. Would you I'm have me move nervous. off of the tile instead? Okay, I'm getting really nervous. It's just a regular straightaway. Okay. Gosh. <laughs> All right. So. Hold on. It says tell her to run at the wall. If she goes through it, ghost. If not, a witch. <laughs> that All right, makes ready? sense. So I'm gonna move here with green. Which okay. means we lose this, we okay. lose this, okay. and we lose this. Mm -hmm. So it is getting dicey. Um, I need to flip out one new tile. Don't be a wax eater. <laughs> it's not. And then I'm going to spend a nerve token to go here. Okay. So that was my other nerve token because you can take an extra action. I do need to flip out another tile. Please don't be a wax eater. This would be really bad. Don't be wax. How many wax eaters do we have left? It's not. It's not. It's not a wax eater. I don't know. I haven't counted. I've, I'm like. But on all of our turns, we're going to have to stay until green gets to go again. So it's red's turn. Okay. So I'm going to collect a. Oh, gosh. But if we do, then it'll. Oh, but we're all staying. Yeah. But if, can we go through the gate and then like. No. Oh, God. You can't go through the gate. We have to have all four keys. I know. Is one of you a locksmith and brought their tools with them? All right. I'm going to stay there. Okay. Flip out of the tile. We lose it. Is. This is not the worst position to be in. Did you count the wax eaters to make sure how many we have I left? I didn't count. All so right. we're good there. Yeah, we're good there. Put those over there, please. Okay. I'm going to collect a nerve token yeah, here. Yeah, the nerve tokens are good for when final flickers happens because you can discard them. So far, I think this is the best we've ever done. I, I, was, I totally think this is the best we've ever done. 
Like, and we've played quite a few games of this now, and I feel like we're hashtag winning. Okay? All right, I will stay. I'm feeling like a hardcore badass right now. There's two tiles now. left. Grab the last tile. <laughs> I don't. We have never won without being in final footers. We've always been in final footers. Wax eater. Oh. So get the rule book. What does it say exactly happens with the wax eater? What does okay, it say? Okay, so you have to replace one of the tiles that are connected to where you're at. To who pulled it? Blue pulled it. So one of the tiles to, connected to where you're at. I'm sorry, just like here, 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 or here. Just, I'm gonna put it right here. Right, right on, on him. Right mm -hmm. on. That's not a good place I for think it. This is fine because we put the wax heater there. It'll right. It technically triggers once he moves on there, but I think once we move all move on there, like we're, we're good. Safe. Yeah. I'm pretty sure we're good. All right. So I felt like that was gonna happen. Well, of course it's gotta happen. It's gotta get weird. You look it up. So essentially what is going to happen is as green, I would move here. We would no longer see this or this. And then you, we, you need to figure out if we won the game or if everything is ruined because of that one tile pull. Yeah, all people just have to gather on the gates all at the same time and then you win. Are you cereal? I am How many cereal. tiles do we have left? Do we have two tiles left? We have Two tiles left. Best score ever. Best score ever. Did we just win? We have never won we it. We just won. We always go to final flickers, and we always start discarding tiles, which this is blum, risky, blum, too, blum. because if we're in final flickers and we have to start discarding tiles... That would be bad. By the time it goes around, we would just start running out of tiles. We don't have many hardcore. tiles out on here, so, like... Yeah. There was it would what? have been a wax eater. And a regular tile. Those are bad tiles to have left. <laughs> Zero death. I am... So, Steve, I don't think you all understand how freaking proud of myself I am right now and getting Yourself. through this. Yourself. You of triggered myself. two wax eater <laughs> double hits. You're the only one who did that. You're the only one. Why are you proud, Miss Scarlet? I'm so proud of the myself. The single Miss Scarlet? We got out without being in the final flickers, which always happens. Every Adopt game. another cat, Miss Scarlet, because you're going to be alone for a long time. <laughs> Every game we've played, we've been in final flickers, and I'm really excited. Now I feel like we can move up to the advanced game. No. <laughs> no. She's crazy. So now that we're all here and we have our candles that are not really useful, right? We burn Miss Scarlet. Burn the witch. <laughs> burn her. <laughs> I helped you out. Um, well, now that we have your key, we don't need you. I can actually do two rocks Aww. at once. Oh. I'm just going to show all of you the very cool acrylic dice tower thingy here that we got with the set. Now, this here, then the normal game, is actually a wooden one. And it looks no, just as cool. No, it is cardboard. Or, I'm sorry, not car wooden, cardboard. It is cardboard. They look very similar, except obviously this one is a hard plastic. I put a candle in there. <laughs> here, I'll light it up from underneath. There you go. Okay, you Turn got it. Turn it from the side. Turn it from the side. Oh, right. People want to see this side action here. Ooh, look at that. You can't see the candle. Oh, you can. Look at that side action. Oh, so nice. Like the back I, is your expired candle. So we were lucky enough to talk to Kurt, the owner of Smirk and Dagger Games, very early on, before they had this idea with the LED candles, before they had the acrylic tile holder. And I remember him specifically talking about some of the new monsters that weren't fully fleshed out yet. So we got to see all of this unfold by being one of the first people to jump on board this and play it. Um, on Tabletopia live on our stream. And so we got to see a lot of this stuff unfold. And I'm, I have to say, the production quality just got better, like the metal keys. There's another level that Battlecry got, I believe, that has metal figurines instead of the little candle guys. But they're really creepy, and they freaked me out. And so I didn't <laughs> really get them. Really creepy. Because they were super creeps. And so I didn't want any part of that. Here, light this up. This is the dirge. I haven't read the rules for this yet, but That's I'm excited about it. Yeah, that is a big old pit, right? I'm excited about seeing that. I them. think the hardest one are the pit fiends because they're like a wax eater, right? Except the difference being is that they have a key on their back end. And if you can you have to go a certain you have way. to get onto them, you have to go onto the monster from behind them to get the key. Yeah. Otherwise there's no other keys in the game. Right. So if you go anywhere off to these sides and you trigger them, you're in trouble. So you have to approach them from one angle and that's that's tough. Anybody who glues a key to their back, they're a they're a BA. <laughs> If I'm out here just lifting weights, gluing keys to my back, you know I'm trouble. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us. We really appreciate all of you being here and hanging out with us today. We hope that 
If you're interested in the night cage and anything else on the table that you take a look at the links in the description below. If you're new here, make sure to give us a thumbs up on this video if you liked it. Maybe like and subscribe. Ring the bell to get notified join when we us go in live. Dis join us in Discord. Our That's where we talk Discord all the time. Discord disco party. Yeah, come come hang out with us at dis in Discord. If you like getting board game deals, come to our Discord where Fatal Papercut tells you about all the sales that he has uh, been in. He's in all these sales <laughs> buying That's stuff. That's true. Like, our board game purchasing has gone up specifically because of that. So <laughs> Thanks, Fatal. Thanks, Fatal. <laughs> Thanks for that, Fatal. <laughs> I think that's it. Next week we'll return with... Masquerade. Oh gosh, we'll be returning with another playthrough and hopefully a Kickstarter show with some new releases and everything on that. We will because I believe next week is Divinius. So for sure we'll be covering Divinius. Divinius. In some way, shape, or form. I'm so excited about I will about drive that to France and like cover Divinius. Are, another, are they in Poland now? I think Vince is French, but he's in Poland now. I will drive somewhere to Europe and scream about Divinius until somebody lets me touch the box. <laughs> you just want to touch the box. Yes. And then in the comments, if you all want, go ahead and leave us some comments about this game and if this is something you think you'll be purchasing or playing in the future. I want to know how many people basically watched our Kickstarter show and then decided to back it and it's like... Actually, what I want to know is what's the scariest board game you've ever played. Because Nyctophobia, that's a good one Nyctophobia too. can be kind of creepy, too, with your eyes that's shut, feeling around. So I want to know what's the creepiest board game you've ever played that gave you a little bit of the creeps. I'm trying to think. That's a tough question. I don't want to know yours. I want to know theirs. That's a tough I'm going to have to think about that question, Doctor. All right. We'll see all of you later. Thank you for joining us. Bye.